I don't know how I ended up here. I died in Zurich, not here in Dublin. But here I am, on North Earl Street, no less. And I like it. Suits me better than the sea. The snot-green sea, the scrotum-tightening sea. No more of the sea, please. Or the river round the corner, the Liffey. Anna Livia Plurabel. River run past Eve and Adams, from swerve of shore to bend of bay, and all that. No, I'm happier here. Even if some visitors, and locals too, mistake me for Charlie Chaplin, and wonder as I do, why I'm here. Some even think I'm a spray-painted mime artist, and they wait for me to climb down off my plinth. He's going to have to move sometime, go to the toilet or something. But my moving days are over, and I was a mover. I lived in twenty different houses before I left Dublin in 1904, and I crossed and recrossed so many borders during the wars and between until I stopped in Zurich in 1941. I revisited Dublin briefly in 1912, and that was it. And now I'm back. Does a fella good a bit of a holiday? I feel a ton better since I landed in dear, dirty Dublin. I put that in one of my stories. But really, I never left. I carried this place with me. Every corner, every brick and slab, every step, every face, every word. I said it once about my Ulysses. I want to give a picture of Dublin so complete that if the city one day suddenly disappeared from the earth, it could be reconstructed out of my book. And I managed that, I think. I think I did. And now, ah, I... I stand here all day, I've no choice, and I watch a different stream, a stream of people, walking past, running past, cycling, meandering, staggering, faces, bodies, and words. What's the story? How is it going? And I said to him, like, you can say what you like, like, and I couldn't care less, like, so there, like. I'm taking it all in. I'm keeping it. There's one more book in me, I think. I don't know how I ended up 